Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'll lead you step by step through the ABRSM Theory Grades. I've loads of resources available to help you. If you go to my website, SharonBill.com, there are some free PDF information sheets. They're available in US letter or A4 and I'll use those to accompany each step of this series. There's also a page which links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can access information about the books I have available there. So if you visit SharonBill.com, it's all there for you. And so today we are continuing with Grade 1 Theory and we're on to Section I, Part 2 of that section. So you'll need to access the PDF information sheet I and we're continuing to talk about dots, dotted notes. So we've got sheet I ready, you'll need your pencil, ruler and rubber to hand and then if you just turn in your booklet to page 13 we'll continue with answering these exercises about dotted notes and we're on exercise 2. So in the previous video we discussed how a dot after a note makes it half as long again. And so moving on with that knowledge we now need to complete exercise 2 where it asks us to add a dot wherever necessary to make the bars complete. So we've got to find what is missing and then fill that missing time by adding a dot to the appropriate note. Let's look at the example that they've given us. There should be four beats in a bar and before we think about that dot, just ignore that dot for a moment, we know that this note is worth two and this note is worth one beat. If you're not sure, just pop back to um, sheets A or sheets F to help you to refresh your memory on those note values. And so at present, that without the dot, we've only got three beats in a bar where there should be four. Now remembering that a dot is half the value again after a note, we need to find a note value that's twice the amount we need for the dot to properly complete the bar. So for example if we put the dot here this note is worth one and so the dot would only be worth half a beat and in that case the bar would still be incomplete. If we put the dot after this note here half of two is one, two plus one plus one equals four and therefore our bar is complete. And so you need to find a note that's twice the value that you're missing in order for the dot to be the right note value. Just before you continue with the rest of these examples though, let's have a look at B. There's just a little sort of quick cheat way of approaching this as well. If we look at this bar here, we know that so far we have half a beat here, we have quarter of a beat here, and we have two beats here. So we have two and three quarter beats. Remember, just visualise that. We have half a beat here, we have quarter of a beat here, and so we have three quarters of a beat plus two here. So we're a quarter of a beat missing. So in order to complete the bar, for the dot to be worth a quarter of a beat, it must follow something that's worth half a beat, so the dot would have to go here. That's the sort of the maths way of figuring it out. However, there's a quick way of finding that gap. And if you just think, if we've got two equal halves, if we make one longer, we must therefore make the other one shorter to complete the full unit. And it could go the other way, if we've got two equal halves, if we've made one shorter, we must make the other one longer. And so at a quick glance, we know that if that one's been made shorter, that one must be made longer. And so we can just see that it's, it's like, I imagine those um, sort of the scales of justice, where as one gets heavier, the other gets lighter. And so if one's been made longer, the other must be made shorter in order to balance out the whole. That's just the way I visualise it. So that might help you, but of course, you still need to just be aware of the maths that's involved as well. 
One other little pointer to think about. Don't forget that rests will also count note values. It could be just the same. That is still the same amount of time. We've got half a beat with a dot and then quarter of a beat. The fact that it's silence or note is irrelevant. It's just the maths must still add up. So I suggest you perhaps press pause, have a little go at these, it is tricky. Have a little go, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, you're writing in pencil, you can always erase and go back again. And just have a little go and then I'll work through it with you when you reaccess into this video. So I'm um, assuming that you've had a little go at this on your own, please do try it. Um, don't worry if you make mistakes, but it's better to learn by your mistakes than just to copy it and not really learn it thoroughly. So let's have a look at um, example A here in this exercise. And so at present we've got one beat here, we've got half a beat here, we've got one and a half, it should add up to two. So we're half a beat missing, so in order for the dot to be worth half a beat, we must put it after a full beat note. Notice that the dot is written in the space next to the note, just above the note. Because when a note's on a line, you can't place the dot on the line, you won't see it, so you just place it in the space above. So we had a go at B, just looking at that visual way of seeing these. So let's now move on to C. So we know that half plus half makes one. There is another one. We have a half here and we have a quarter here. Now here again is an example of what we were discussing earlier. This one has been made shorter so this one must be made longer. Also we know we have a half and a quarter which makes three quarters. In order for the dot to be worth that missing quarter, it must follow this half a beat here. So there's our answer. Let's move on to D. So let's see, oh actually this, just double check, but yes that bar is complete. One, two, three. Okay, move on to D now. So this one is worth one, this is worth one, and those two halves combined also are worth one. So that bar is complete. And so now in this remaining bar, we only have two beats, we should have three. There's no option but to put the dot there. There's no other note to choose from. And we know that that note is worth two and half of two is one. Therefore we have our three and the bar is complete now with that dot. Let's look at number well, exercise E. E isn't a number. Okay, so this is now quite a tricky one. We have here a rest. Don't forget that rests still count. So that is worth a half. That is worth a quarter. And so again, this little group here, even with the rest, is exactly the same as this in note form. We have a half and a quarter, which is only three quarters. We need another quarter, and so in order for the dot to be worth a quarter, it must follow a half. The fact that it's a rest is irrelevant. So there we go. Here we have three quarters and a quarter, so that's already worth one. That's now complete. Now this second bar, let's look at this second bar. So this note is worth a quarter of a beat. This note is worth a half of a beat. So again, we have three quarters. And so this one has been made shorter, therefore this one must be made longer. There's our quarter, there's our half. The dot after the half now is worth a quarter of a beat and that will complete that missing quarter. But again, you can just see at a glance, that one's been made shorter, this one must be made longer. And now that bar is complete. Okay, on to the last one. Let's look at this bar. We've got one beat here. Those two combined make one beat. We have one beat there. That's half a beat in silence. That's half a beat in a, a note. So that is a one. So that bar is actually complete. 
Let's look at the next bar. We have one beat. Now those two quarters combined will make a half and we have a two beat. So in this bar at present we have two three and a half beats. We're half a beat missing. And so in order for the dot to be worth that half a beat that we're missing, it must come after a one beat note because it's half of the value of the note it follows. So that dot is now worth half of a beat and that will complete the bar. It is quite a tricky section and if you feel like you've not quite got a handle on it, just rub it out and try it all again. Just feel like you've got a little bit more conversant with it. So by all means do go back and just watch that video again and re-attempt those exercises. Let's move on to exercise three. Now in comparison this is much more simple. All of the bars are complete. It's just asking us to put the bar lines where they are missing. And so the example they've given us, there should be three beats in a bar. Don't forget to count the rest. So we've got one beat there, two beats there. That makes three, bar line. This note in itself is two. The dot after it is another one. Half as much again, making three. Let's look at this bar. This is one beat. This is one beat. This is three quarters of a beat because we've got a half and then the dot after the half is worth half as much again. Half and a quarter makes three quarters and there's our quarter of a beat. But again, you can just know that two equal halves makes a whole. That one's been made longer, that one's been made shorter. It still makes a whole averaged out. Here's our three beat dotted minim or dotted half note again, so bar line. One beat there, one beat there, and again we know that three quarters and a quarters makes a whole. You can just tell at a glance, and we know from when we were working in section F we have to beam in units of a crotchet beat. So you know at a glance that's one crotchet beat, so you can just quickly skim through and know that's a crotchet beat. If you're not confident with that, then yes, do check your maths, but you know that three quarters and a quarter at a glance just makes a whole. So do go ahead, press pause and have a go at these remaining exercises and I'll work through them with you when you've had a go yourself. Use a ruler, keep it nice and neat and tidy, use a pencil and then if you make a mistake it doesn't matter, we can go back and try again. So I'm presuming that you've had a little go at this yourself, so let's just count through all of these exercises quickly together. So we've got one beat and those combined make a beat, three quarters and a quarter make a beat. There's one, two, bar line. One plus half of that, one and a half, plus another half makes two. So there's our bar line there. That's one beat. That's one beat. One, two, bar line. That's half a beat. That's one beat. The dot after it makes another half. So one and a half plus half makes two. And we know we've ended up in the same place. If you get lost somewhere around here, you can always start back from the end and backtrack it that way. The only time when the last bar isn't complete is when the music says etc at the end. If we've got a bar line, we know we can work from the back. Okay, let's look at B. So this is in common time. If you remember from section B, that means four over four. So we're counting four beats per bar. So we've got a two beat, two halves make one, two half beats make one, one, two, three, four bar line. So that's where we're starting from. One, two, there's a half. That is a one beat. The dot is half as much again, so that's another half. So we've got one and a half plus a half is two, three, four bar line. One, two beats there. That's worth one plus a half for the dot. So there's one and a half plus another half. Two, three and a half, four. There's our four beats. So we should end up right here. This dotted minimum or dotted half note is worth three. That rest is worth one. Three plus one is four. 
we're correct. Moving on to C. Okay, so we're counting two crotchet beats per bar now. So we've got one beat, two bar line. Remember, we know we must beam in crotchet beat groups. We've got a half and two quarters, that makes one. Half plus a half makes one. Half plus a half makes one. So one, two bar line. I got a bit carried away there. One, two bar line. Those two are worth one added together. There's a half a beat rest. There's a half a beat note. One plus half plus half makes two. There's our bar line. Two quavers, two half a beat, or two eighth notes make one. There's our half a beat rest, half a beat note. One half half makes two. There we go. And then we should now be correct. Half plus half makes one. There's a half a beat rest, half a beat note, that makes two. Yes, we're correct. Okay, moving on to D. I'll just quickly go through these just so you can mark them. One, four quarters makes a whole. One, one, two, three, bar line. We know that that's one and a half with the dot, plus a half is two, plus one makes three. There's our bar line. Remember we're adding up to three in a bar. One, two, three beats, bar line. One, two quarters and a half makes a whole. And we know that we beam in whole crotchet or whole quarter note beats. So one, two, three, correct. Okay, we've got another common time here for Four, that means don't forget your rest still count so we've got one two three four beats there bar line half a beat half a beat rest there's one beat two three four bar line one two there's another beat rest three two halves makes four one beat, one beat makes two, plus the beat rest makes three, two halves make a beat four. There we go, that's correct. Here's another four, four, one. One plus two makes three, plus one makes four. There's our first bar. One and a half plus a half makes two, plus another half, plus another one and a half, one and a half, two, three and a half, four, there's our bar line. There's one beat, there's one beat, there's one beat, there's one beat, one, two, three, four, bar line, and we're left with a four beat note, that's correct. Okay, now this last one, exercise G, Looks like it's going to be a real handful counting loads and loads of halves and quarters. But remember that in section F we learned that we group things together in full one beat units. So we know one beat. We know one beat. Half, quarter, quarter makes one. Quarter, 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 quarter makes one. So actually at a glance you can just go one, two, three bar line. So we'll just whip through this and then we'll do the maths afterwards. Let's do it the quick cheat way first. One, two, three bar line. One, two, three bar line. One, two, three bar line. Yes, we're correct. Just to check your maths, half quarter quarter makes one. Four quarters make one. Half quarter quarter makes one. Half quarter quarter makes one. Four quarters make one. Four quarters make a whole. Four quarters make a whole. But you can just see quickly at a glance, you can just quickly whip through that. And that's why we beam things into whole unit groups of a crotchet or a quarter note. It's just so easy to see beat one, beat two, beat three. Beat one, 
beat two, beat three at a glance. So there we go, it wasn't quite as tricky as it perhaps at first seemed. I hope that's been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Please do go to SharonBill.com, there's loads there for you, lots of resource for you to access. If you've enjoyed that, give me a, a like, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you're sure that you won't miss out on all the great stuff I've got planned coming up next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!